I'm starting to feel like if it's a weekend in Baltimore, it must mean <laughs> rain, and I don't like this. I've had two people already tell me I ruined their Sunday, <laughs> Jessica. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, if I could send condolences to everybody, I will. It's you know, it's gonna be one of those days. We just gotta get through it. We've had some tough weekends where at least half of it is gonna be rainy. Tomorrow will be the rainy half of the weekend. Unfortunately, not raining the entire time. There will be some gaps in between the showers and storms. We'll try to get you into the know of when you may see one of those dry pockets. Outside we go right now, as you can see, the skyline not looking too bad. We have some holes of blue. That's some optimism there, 67 degrees. And I don't think any of the rain comes in till later on tonight. So you have a dry several hour period here this evening. If you want to uh, cook dinner out on the grill, be out on the patio, go for a walk, do something like that without the threat for any showers. 67 degrees right now, east southeast winds at seven miles per hour. But you see those dark clouds behind me, kind of a uh, foreshadowing of what's to come here. Some showers likely after midnight tonight. And then during the day tomorrow, we're going to see some waves of showers and storms. The difference between tomorrow's rain and yesterday's rain, there will be gaps in between. So it's kind of like spokes on a bicycle wheel. We'll have a round of showers and storms, a pause, and then probably another round of showers and storms. But the downpours tomorrow will be heavy, so there could be some pockets of street flooding. And then next week, a chilly blast of weather coming our way. 50s in Pennsylvania, 70s in Virginia. We're sandwiched in between in the mid-60s right now. As you can see from the weather map, a busy weather map here on this Saturday evening. We have a front moving through Ohio and parts of Indiana. We have another storm system along the Gulf Coast that we're going to be watching move to the north. And the combination of those storm systems kind of marry together for the day tomorrow. So notice after midnight tonight and then into the day tomorrow, there you go, some rounds of showers. And when it rains, it pours tomorrow. So just know that. 58 degrees, scattered showers later tonight, 66 degrees. It's a muggy, humid day tomorrow. Even when it's not raining, you definitely will feel that humidity. Let's walk you through that hour by hour forecast so you can see when those showers are arriving. This is early tomorrow morning, right around 5 o'clock in the morning, a sprinkle or shower possible. Then it's a wave of showers and thunderstorms, let's say between 7 and 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. Notice the heavier rain in and around Baltimore. This is when we could see some local street and highway flooding. But the reason why we're not going with a weather alert is there's there's a pretty big pause after that where we'll see some scattered rain showers, but it won't be raining the entire day tomorrow like it did yesterday. Low to mid 60s for your highs here tomorrow afternoon, so we will be a little bit below average. Your four day forecast, we do cool things off Monday and into Tuesday. It won't be raining the entire time, but there definitely is a spot shower risk here in the afternoon hours. It's kind of sunshine to clouds on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And then during the afternoon hours, there will be these hit or miss spring or showers, but you're definitely grabbing for the sweater, the sweatshirt, or the jacket. I do want you to have some time to digest those morning lows. Back down to the low to mid 40s, 50s for your highs, and then we start to climb back out of this. Second half of next week looking pretty nice. 64 on Thursday, 64 on Friday. Next Saturday, hey, it's not going to rain. It should be a beautiful day with highs near 70. We'll be right back.